Good morning, folks. It's another busy day in ATV land. We just uploaded a video this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was our annual 22 Lingham rip, and uh, it was one to remember. We actually uh, had a tornado drop down. Holy shit. Wow, man. In the midst of our ride, which uh, gave us quite the adventure to try to get home. You guys will know because you'll probably see it, but obviously you'll see it before this morning. But, uh, Still got some work to do to the 18 Renegade. I'll be headed in there this afternoon, but before I do that, I'm gonna drop over and visit my friends at Thompson's. It's been a while. And uh, I think they said they've got something interesting there for me to take out for a test drive. And we'll continue working on the 18. And like I said, I'll give you guys a rundown, an update of everything that's been done. My brother-in-law's place, I've had to do a bunch of seals, rear dip, uh, output shaft at the rear. Got some fresh seals in there as well. And then, uh, Motor mounts, which were a real treat. We just taken the bike, but uh, removed the headers. I didn't do a full walkthrough this time because it was just too uh, in depth. There was too many things to my first time, so I was kind of learning the process as I went. And I also had and found some things that also needed to be done while I was in there for the motor mounts. So I guess the order of with, in which I've done things maybe isn't quite proper for just a motor mount swap. But anyways, we'll still go through what I had to do to get all that work done. Seals, motor mounts, uh, rebuilt shocks. Uh, I ended up swapping exhaust systems. I'm still waiting on my new exhaust. Should be here probably next week. Yeah, so let's go drop in on the boys and girls at Thompson's this early Saturday morning. Let's see what it is they got plated for us to take out for a rip. They should be pretty cool. We haven't got far to go. We're almost there. Actually, I might as well keep this with me. What do we got there? 22 Ram 1500, as low as 42,995. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, what's this? There's a 22 Wagoneer right there. Oh, they're new. I think we might take one of those out for a rip as well. I would like to. Boy, she's the brand new 22 Wagoneer. And I hear they might be coming out with other engine model choices. This one here has 5.7 Hemi with the V-Torque. Well, that's kind of wild. Look at that. Crap, this is like futuristic. Whoa, hello, Jeep. Good morning. Not too bad yourself. 805 Gardeners Road, Kingston, Ontario. I want to try one of the Wagoneers here soon too. They look pretty wild, eh? That's a nice looking Jeep. Oh, I like all the seat options. That's great. Oh, she is high. Good thing they put the handle here. I'll tell you, you need that. Nice running boards. That's great. In we go to the lifted ram. Oh, some different contoured lines up there. Was my Rebel like that? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think the dash has been changed. We've got the same kind of setup as the Cummins has. I love that compartment, to be honest with you. Wasn't sure about it at first. I was like, ah, it kind of looks like there should be a, a door on it, a hatch, but you know what? I'm glad there isn't. Okay, so this one, huh. This is the first vehicle I've tried in a long time that isn't a uh, push button. Oh! Listen to that thing. I'm gonna have to check it out, but there might be exhaust work on this one. I don't remember my Rebel. Oh yeah, right, power, 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 power everything. What do we got for this truck? We got tow haul, trash to control, parking on rear. What's this? Park sense off. Oh, okay. Sensors. This one's got a heat steering wheel. Nice. Heated seats, very nice. Yeah, this is a really nice truck. I do miss the dial, I like the dial, me too. Um, so here is our rundown. Wiring harness, engine block heater. Okay, this one's got a block here, that's always good to know. Uh, 730 amp maintenance free battery, 12 volt auxiliary power outlet, air conditioning, cruise control, power windows with front one touch so up and down. Pretty killer, pretty cool. We'll get out and we'll take a look at that. 
Yeah, we're digging the off-road package the boys put together on this classic 1500 grand, man. Very nice. 35 inch Nito Ridge Grapplers. That look pretty killer on those fuel wheels, eh? Yeah. Fog lights to boot, you gotta like that. Just a really clean looking truck, black on black, if you like that, and I do, as you all know. This thing has a wicked stance on it. Looks awesome. Got the Ram runners, very cool. The dual exhaust, black tips. Yeah, this is a really nice looking truck. Very nice, very nice. Let's take it for a rip. If you're interested in any details on this, you can jump on jimkreisler.com, uh, jimthompsonkreisler.com, and check out the details, or you can just give the folks a shout. Throw the old number up on the screen for you. I don't know it off by heart. It's programmed in my phone. 2022 Ram 1500 Classic. Very nice. Blacked out edition. Ready lift is the choice they've, they've uh, they made, eh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. This one's cloth. Man, I love the uh, the room you get in these things. It's just phenomenal. She's got the bins. Very nice. Those are so nice. Hold up. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Hold cargo still. It's kind of neat. Is there a lever or something? Or do I just pull? I don't want to break. Oh, it's buttoned down. Okay. That'll stop it from making any noise or flapping around if you are off-road, eh? That's cool. And... The side as well has these cargo holders. That's kind of neat. And it's buttoned down as well. And you get your standard storage under there. Another bin on the other side, of course. Yes, sir. And these things have such a kick ass stereo system in them, too. 12 volt in the back. Oh, that's a nice touch, that logo there. I like it. Pretty simplistic, pretty clean, got the right options. So I see this as being the perfect truck for. Uh, for the majority of folks really and she's got the stance the tires and the wheels for a young lad or a mid mid-aged lad such as myself because i really like this truck very nice you know what i like about it most it's price tag at 62. that's one of the more reasonable prices i've seen on a half ton these days and it's got just the right fixings right so far from a base model yet far from fully loaded right up my alley let's take her down the back alley I actually I'd like to take her off road but we're not gonna do that but I am gonna get it I am gonna drive let's it. take a listen at that flow master actually I'll set you guys out back to take a listen to that flow master sounding exhaust system. It's a nice truck. A hell of a lot nicer than that Ford there, but she's about to take a second gander at this Ram. She had a shit about a Ram. Yeah, no shit, bud. Oh, that tranny is 
smooth. I will say it's smoother than the one that's in the Cummins, that's for sure. You don't barely even feel this eight speed. I think that'll be fine for the day. We don't need to run it out of gas on the boys. Pretty much in it, but we don't really need to drive her too long either. I just wanted to check her out. Green light. Green light go. Oh, that sounds good. Nice ram, brother. Nice comments. The old wheel package on her as well. I'm actually shocked as shit how well this thing handles and feels with a big old 35 inch tire on it. I guess uh, we could have went up a little bit. Well, I got on the Cummins, is, uh, is it 33? I think it's 33. I think it tried 35, so it wouldn't fit with it rubbing. And uh, you don't need no lift. You got the airbags in the back. That truck's not off-roading, so there's no point. But this thing would definitely be capable of doing some off-roading. Fresh brakes. Fresh, fresh, fresh. She don't feel laggy with the big old wheels and tires on her either. Hemi's got tons and tons of power. Lots of horsepower, lots of torque. Yes, lots of work to do today, so we won't take too long on this test drive. I gotta get uh, cracking on that Renegade. We gotta do a wheel swap on the new demo, so I need to load that up in the trailer, get her hooked up behind the Cummins. We'll head into Napanee and uh, we'll get some work done. I do want to thank the folks at Thompson Chrysler. I didn't give them much of a heads up. I just called Sean basically the other night and said, hey man, anything I can go out for a test drive in? Yes, I got a truck I think is right up your alley. Well, you aren't kidding. Highly recommend the guys. Customer service is second to none here in Kingston. Certainly no shortage of inventory at this place. Jeeps, brand new Rams. You name it, they got it. All kinds, I'll take a drive through there. Let's check it out today. I don't say. Cherokees. Very nice. Yeah, Sean, you weren't kidding when you said you guys got a record number of vehicles in inventory. Like, wow, these Jeeps are killer. That color is ridiculously cool. Oh, yeah, so they've got a few, eh? We've got four or five, I see. That's the fifth one I've seen, so. They definitely have a few of those Wagoneers to choose from. I'm sure they range in their options. God, they are sharp. They are sharp. Cool. Sweet looking unit. Kick ass. All right, let's go fix the Renegade. We'll be back. And for you, those of you who've been wondering where the 18 is, right here. Ripping her apart at my brother-in-law's place. I've had to do a bunch of seals. Uh, output shaft at the rear. Got some fresh seals in there as well. And then uh, motor mounts, which were a real treat. Basically unbolted my air box, um, removed the exhaust system headers and all, although you could have just taken the pipe, but uh, removed the headers, uh, removed the front drive shaft, Remove the rear drive shaft, slid both diffs, jacked up the engine, and I was able to get all the room I needed. You remove this bracket on this side. Um, the back one has two brackets on both sides, very easy to get at. And then the top motor mount is up in here, which was pretty easy to get at from the other side once. I had removed the header and the heat shields. It made it very simple actually. And it's held right up in here with the bracket, but uh, yeah, not too bad. I also took the clutch apart serviced it cleaned it up put a fresh belt on um you may notice that we switched back to the stock headers we've got a new system on the way from shane slg should be here probably next week which will be the last piece of the puzzle we can get this thing up and running um i also uh sent my elkas out they were leaking two out of the four so they went to accelerated technologies out of peterborough um recommended by elka elka themselves does not service their own shocks anymore instead they send you off to uh their recommended source which we did use it was expensive but uh anything quality in life usually is so not complaining there we've got them back they're in the box we'll have them back on the unit 
Uh, also sent my bumpers out for some powder coating. Sam Teal did that, a friend of ours on Instagram, Cheech and Diesel. And TikTok, I believe. Uh, he also has an account there. But he rides with us frequently and he mentioned that he had gotten into doing some powder coating on the side. So I thought for sure we could definitely use a freshening up on the bumpers. You guys seen them before. They looked like absolute shit. So I also pulled off the floorboards. I just spray bomb those because they take a hell of a beating and it's pretty easy to touch them up with the black. I also did the same thing with the back rack. I was going to have Sam repowder coat the top. It is scratched, but you know, all in all, the powder coat on it is still holding up. So I separated it. Obviously, here's the hardware. And we uh, got rid of the rust around the bolted areas. It was the only spot it was starting to show. Had chafed through the powder coat due to my little Pelican case. Sand grit moving around like sandpaper. But yeah, we sprayed that up. Got it looking nice and fancy again. I see I've got some access diff flu that's been leaking on that. Probably shouldn't have placed it under there. Because that's going to eat away at that paint for show. Diff flu sucks. So I'll get that cleaned up. We'll get the rear bumper remounted. I'm just at the point now where we've got the rear diff all bolted down, drive shafts back in. Um, I also went online to make the job a little easier and visited uh, mckaytoolsales.com and picked myself up a couple specialty tools. Uh, I got a bearing, race, and seal driver kit in here, which worked really nice for seating, uh, seating up my, my seals without damaging them, right? So. Something I've been meaning to add to my my tool collection for a long time. We did that. Very handy. Highly recommend Justin and uh, K Tool Services. Those guys are awesome. Check this out. Pick this one off a crappy tire. Really love this pry bar, boys. Pretty killer. Brought the snap ring pliers just in case we ran into any of that, which we didn't. Um, what else did I pick up specialty tool-wise? I got myself a proper set of pliers for the Odegaard styled uh, clamps or sorry rather the ear clamps these were handy i'm still going to use them to put the new clamps back on which we'll be into that in a couple minutes too um yeah we didn't walk you through on a how-to or anything like that because just too much crap i've got other stuff that's usually not in the way and then because i was doing a couple different jobs at the same time the order in which i did things was kind of messed up for sure so we've got a lot of things to button up i've got to tighten up the front diff i still haven't done that I still haven't put the outer heat shield on the header pipes. I can see that I still haven't tightened down the uh, our rod that runs through for a rear suspension. So we'll get that nipped up. Um, what else? We've got that all tightened down. We've got to do the fluids. So topped up the coolant. See, we were missing a little bit of coolant there. She was a little bit low. That's about it. That's getting you guys back up to speed, I think. All that's left to do is uh, button her back up. This one here is getting a wheel tire change or a wheel change. We're going back to the uh, gonna run those 30s, the uh, Argo tires for a bit. I'm meeting up with Roger next weekend, and I think we're gonna try out those new Moto Slayers. Why wouldn't we, right? So I've offloaded the 32 Naders. They're gone. They're gone. Just gotta send them out to a guy. So sold off the Naders. Sold off my RJWC full Mud Edition dual system. That's gone. And uh, yeah, so a couple things have changed, but. Freshen her up a bit. Well, let's get out of her. Cheers. We'll be back. Ooh, she's dirty. But no signs of any contamination. At least not yet. Which would have came out first if there was, so. That's always good. She might have been leaking oil, but she wasn't taking water in. And checking our magnet. Very clean. Yeah, her motor is good. That off, boys. I'm gonna fire it up and get the uh, get the oil filter filled up. Recheck the oil. Just topped her up with gas. She was empty, empty.
Justin McKay, man. Appreciate it. Mint. Drive shaft nipped up, boys, just like that. Oh, she's almost there. Bumpers are on, back rack's on. Everything's buttoned up, drive shafts are in. Oils are all changed. Doesn't seem to be dripping. That's a good thing. Fueled up. Got a couple things left. We got the plastics left, but we still got uh, this inner shield or outer shield as well. I'll probably wrap it up, throw it in the trailer and do the rest of home because I'm late for dinner as usual. And the exhaust is on its way, so 